Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in control systems. In this video lecture we shall consider a numerical for a unity feedback control system with G of S is given which is equal to 64 divided by S into bracket S plus 9.6. The task is to write the output response to a unit step input and also to determine the response at t equal to 0.1 second, maximum value of response and the time at which it occurs and lastly the settling time. So let me consider the solution for this. The very first task is to write to get the transfer function of a closed loop function. So let me consider that the closed loop the closed loop transfer function the closed loop transfer function with h of s. So what is h of s? So as it is already said, it is being said for a unity feedback control systems means h of s must be equal to 1. g of s whatever has been given it is for the open loop. So now I have to get the closed loop transfer function so which is written as t of s transfer function which is equal to c of s divided by R of S output divided by the input which is equal to G of S so let me consider the formula for this G of S this gets divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S so what are what is this G of S now so here I have uh, 64 divided by S into bracket s plus 9.6 so let me consider that 64 this gets divided by so let me consider the division let me just draw the line this gets divided by s into bracket s plus 9.6 so whatever I have written now so just write 9 a bit clear so it is 9.6 correct so this gets divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s so let me consider writing that stuff now and later I need to simplify that so then I have at the denominator 1 plus 1 plus g of s which is again 64 then I have divided by s into bracket s plus 9.6 into h of s h of s is nothing but 1 so I need to solve this further and by taking the LCM if I do that I am going to get 64 in the numerator 64 divided by I am going to have the denominator term which turns out to be s square plus 9.6 yes 9.6 yes plus 64 is that okay so now if this is the transfer function of the closed loop control system transfer function t of s equal to so this I need to compare with the standard form so let me compare this just let me consider writing comparing with comparing with what should I compare this with omega n square so this is the standard form in the numerator that gets divided by I have s square plus 2 times zeta omega n into s plus s square so let me compare this with this uh, not a square omega n square it is omega n square so if I compare this so what I'm going to get I'm going to get omega n square and as well as I'm going to get zeta n so what is going to happen so I can conclude that omega n square turns out to be 64 as well as I'm also going to get 2 times zeta omega n 2 times zeta omega n turns out to be 
9.6 so now i need to simplify these two things so what is omega n omega n i'm going to get square root of 64 which turns out to be 8 radians per second is that fine so now moving on further what must be uh, zeta omega n i would substitute it 8 or 8 into 2 it becomes 16 therefore zeta is equal to 9.6 divided by 16 which turns out to be 0 0.6 so these are the two values i have found now just let me put them into the box so that which makes the answers pretty clear so i need these things to uh, continue further so now let me also find let me also consider finding omega d so this also i need in the formula therefore omega d is equal to omega n then i have square root of 1 minus zeta square so this is the formula to calculate omega d so now substituting this what is omega n 8 radian per second square root of 1 minus zeta which is 0.6 square so solving this i'm going to get the answer for omega d so i request everyone to make use of the calculator and get the answer for this which turns out to be 6.4 radians per second so this is another parameter known as omega d so this is also quite important while uh, continuing with the numerical and i need to find along with this theta so what is theta theta equal to i have the standard formula for this tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta square this gets divided by zeta so just substitute the values tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta square divided by zeta where data is zeta is 0.6 so substituting that making use of the calculator i'm going to get theta equal to 0 0.9272 so this is the answer for theta so this also i need uh, while continuing it further so once i get all these things now i can get the first answer the output response so what is that therefore so let me consider the output therefore the output response the output response to a unit step input output response to a unit step input is so what is that so now i can i have the equation for this standard equation which is c of t is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus zeta omega n into t this gets divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square then i have sine of omega d into t plus theta so these all parameters i have already found them that just i have to substitute those in this equation therefore ultimately i am going to get c of t equal to 1 minus now 1 divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square so which turns out to be 1.25 so please solve this and after that e to the power minus zeta omega n into t minus zeta is 0.6 omega n is 8 if i multiply i'm going to get 4.8 so it is minus 4.8 into t correct then i have sine of omega d into t what is omega d omega d i got it as 
सिक्स पॉइंट फोर टी प्लस वॉट इज थीटा थीटा आई गॉट द एंसर एज जीरो पॉइंट सो विच आई गॉट इट दिस एज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन टू सेवन टू सो दिस इज अल्टीमेटली द आउटपुट रेस्पॉन्स सो जस्ट लेट मी पुट दिस इन द बॉक्स यस this is one of the answers so now moving further it is asked to find the response at t equal to 0.1 second so let me consider that one the response the response of the system at t equal to 0.1 second so what is that in this expression whatever i have c of t equal to now i need to substitute wherever t is there that needs to be replaced with 0.1 second and just solve it so here uh, minus 4.8 into t t i need to substitute 0.1 sin 6.4 into t is there that needs to be replaced with 0.1 and solve it further so if i do that i'm going to get 1 minus so this turns out to be uh, 0.73 3, 4 into bracket sine term, which turns out to be 0.999. So I recommend everyone to make use of the calculator and get the answers for those things. So ultimately, I'm going to get 0.2265 as the answer for C of t at t equal to point. One second. So this is one of the answers which uh, one of the questions which has been asked, and this is the answer for that. And uh, moving further, next thing we need to find the second one. Peak time. So let me consider that peak time. So what is peak time? Peak time is the one wherein I have the formula for that. T P is equal to pi divided by omega d. So through the derivation, I have got the expressions for all these things. So now I need to consider that pi divided by omega d. Omega d is already been found out, which is 6.4 radian per second. And if I solve that, I'm ultimately going to get T p. I'm going to get the answer as 0.490. and the unit is second so this is another answer which was asked to find at peak time yes this is the peak time and moving on further the last thing i need to find is the maximum value uh not the last thing i need to just continue further peak time i got and uh, the the t is equal to tp i found now the maximum value of the response at t equal to tp just let me go back and check the question uh, yes here it is the maximum value of response at the time at which it occurs so maximum uh, value of the response occurs at t equal to tp so what i should what i should what i have to do is so let me call this as equation 1 in equation 1 i need to substitute t equal to tp so let me write that substitute so just let me write substitute tp equal to 0.4908 in equation 1 so if i do that i'm going to get the answer so only changes instead of t i need to substitute now 0.4908 and solve it further if i do that i am going to get c of t the maximum value of the response is turns out to be 1 uh, before that i am going to get 1 minus 0.1185 into bracket what is the sign term sign term is minus 0.1 8016 so just solve this further and i am going to get maximum value of the response turns out to be 
1.0948 so this is the output c of t at t equal to tp yes this is one of the parameters one of the questions been asked so now this is the answer for that and moving on further uh, next we have settling time so just let me write that settling time again through the derivation we have the straight formula to find the settling time so what is settling time settling time is represented as a ts which is equal to 4 divided by zeta omega n so what is that just substitute F uh, 4 divided by zeta uh, is uh, i got the answer as uh, 0 0.6 and omega n i got it as 8 radian per second so just let me consider that 4 divided by uh, zeta as i said 0 0.6 that gets multiplied with omega n which is 8 4.84 divided by 4.8 and that uh, turns out to be 0 0.8333 seconds the unit of the time is seconds so this is the settling time ts so now this is the last parameter which was asked and now we have solved the entire numerical I have explained this numerical step by step. I hope you people have understood. If still there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I am happy to answer those uh, doubts. Thank you so much for watching.